Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and this week I'm gonna try and recreate Lisa's outfit from Blackpink's live performance of Pretty Savage. I got the idea to do so while I was thrifting because I found a red jersey and red pants, which is what Lisa wears. Now all I have to do is turn the jersey into a corset and add some spots onto those red pants. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get started. First, I drafted the corset pattern on my dress form. It's always challenging to make it look exactly like the original, but just do your best. For me, I wasn't sure how long to make my corset, and looking back now, I definitely could have made mine just a little longer, but I'm not as tall as Lisa, so this size is probably fine for me. Once I finalize my pattern pieces, I cut the jersey down the side so I can cut each side individually. Then fold one side of the shirt in half, take some time to figure out the placement of the numbers, and cut out the front corset pieces. I actually ended up taping together the center front and side front so it's one piece because it looks like Lisa's corset doesn't have a seam there. The center front of the corset is going to be laced up so I cut out two pieces and that will be how I get in and out of it. For the back, I also connected the pattern pieces and cut it on fold so it's one piece. I think Lisa's actually has a zipper in the back so she can easily get in and out of it, but I'm just gonna go through the trouble of lacing it up each time. Next, cut out the same pieces from some interfacing and apply the interfacing to the jersey. You also need to use some additional fabric to cut a lining layer. I'm using some black cotton I had at home. To construct the corset, first sew the jersey layer right sides together at the side seams, and same with the lining layer. Now we need to give the corset some structure by adding boning along the princess seams in the front and back and at the side seams. Because the jersey numbers are rubbery, it sticks to the machine and prevents the fabric to move smoothly through. So I just placed some tissue paper underneath and sewed over the tissue paper. After you're done sewing, you can just rip the tissue paper off and pick out the little pieces. Today's video is sponsored by Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to choose a new fragrance to try every month for only $16, which is pretty amazing considering some bottles of perfume cost between $150 to $500 per bottle. 
I am currently trying these three designer brands. Happy by Clinique smells exactly like the name. It has a lot of florals in it with a zesty orange accent, which I love. Daisy Oh So Fresh by Marc Jacobs is sweet and feminine with red raspberry, wild rose, and warm plum notes. And Fantasia by Anna Sui is something I would wear for a date night. It smells like cedarwood, pink peppers, and raspberry praline. So every month you get to pick out your own perfume so there's no surprises. And for my next month, I'm looking forward to trying Anna Sui Sky and Le Jardin Retrouvé Rose Trocadero. If you guys are ever unsure on what fragrances you want to try next, you can simply take their quiz on their website. Make sure to click below and use my code COOLERBUT30 for 30% off. That's $11 for your first month. With what's left of the jersey, I cut out a panel that will go behind the lacing in the front of the corset. Ignore adding in the panel, you don't have to do this part yet. I thought it would work out to sew it together to one side of the center front, but stay tuned to see why this didn't work out. Anyways, go ahead and face both layers of the corset right sides together and sew them along all sides, but leave an opening somewhere to turn it inside out. I know I'm pointing at the curved part here, but I actually left the straight edge on top open instead, so it's easier to hem. Turn the corset inside out through the opening and press everything flat with an iron. To close the opening, evenly fold under the seam allowance so it's tucked inside the corset and top stitch it closed. Next, I want the numbers to be a little more bold like Lisa's jersey, so I'm outlining where I want the shadows to be placed, and then I painted it in with some black leather paint. Highly recommend doing this because it made the numbers really pop out. Now it's time to add the eyelets to the center front of the corset. The ones I'm using are a quarter inch size and it comes with a kit to hammer them in. But first you need to mark out the eyelets by tracing the inner circle of them onto the corset. Then cut the little circle out with scissors. Always start small and see if the eyelet will fit first before cutting the circle bigger. Place the top eyelet through the front of the corset and then cover it with the other side on the lining side of the corset. Then hammer them together using the tools provided. I'll put a link to this little kit I'm using down in my description box for anyone who's interested. This is honestly the most fun part of the tutorial and if you hate installing zippers, play around with some eyelets in your design. Okay, so this is when I realized adding the panel to the center front was wrong because when I tried lacing it up, the panel was blocking the pathway. Oh my god, I just realized that. What? Oh my god, I just realized I, I can't. Up. Oh my god, I can't. Oh wait, can I? No. <gasps> that if this thing is here, it can't really close. I can't lace it up. Oh my god. I ended up cutting off the piece so it can lace up. Mm -hmm. 
Luckily, I still had extra jersey material left over to sew a rectangle piece. And this time, I'm placing the panel behind the eyelids and stitching it onto the corset. And this is what it's supposed to look like if you want to add a backing for your corset. Moving on to the pants. I really wished I was able to find regular knit sweatpants so I can dye them permanently, but these were the only ones I could find at the thrift store. They're windbreaker material, which I knew the dye would not hold up well on, but I kind of have no choice at this point, so I'm dyeing them. Because I want the spots to be in similar areas as Lisa's pants, I used a paintbrush and painted them on. I couldn't wash the pants afterwards though because the dye will just wash off of this material. So I just wore them as is for the photo shoot. It was messy but did the job. That's pretty much it. Here is my final Lisa look that I put together. Going up, elevate, watch me demonstrate On time, never late, I grind, celebrate No pump fake, hesitate, I have been scoring every day Champagne Perrier, since 9 3 baby. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe And let me know down in the comments what other looks from Blackpink do you want to see me recreate next See you next time, bye! I was starving, skinny, now my weight up, got no energy for haters. See you trying, see you later, see you later. I'm shooting for the stars, need no laser beam, blowing like the greatest, but it's one who's always greater. Yo.